Hi everyone. So tonight I am going to attempt to do a Sensi Club edit video. I asked in my last Sensi Club haul video if there would be interest in me doing an edit and I think a few people mentioned that would be fun. So we are going to give it a try tonight. I just got that Sensi email that says like, oh, your order is going to process on the 5th, but you have to kind of lock in the items in your club by August 25th. So we will do the edit together. I most definitely need to make cuts and I really would like to see the number of items go down to like 30 to 35 items, which I think we'll be able to do because I've only been adding items to my club, not deleting for the sole purpose of being able to do this edit video together. So let's get started. The first few I know I'm for sure keeping. So I love the Valentine's Day collection that they had come out with. So there were three originally in the collection. It's Love, You're the One, and what was the other one? Together Forever. I already removed Together Forever from my last month's club because that was the only one I really, really didn't like, but I really, really like It's Love and You're the One, so I'm for sure keeping those two. Hey Tiger Lily, I've mentioned this before, but it's the scent that made me want to create a club. There's just something like so beautiful about it. I feel like it's so strong. I feel like it's something that kind of reminds me of my mom. I'm not really sure why. Oh, well, maybe because she likes flowers and things like that, but I just really like it. So I'm definitely keeping that one. Berry Bright is another one I'm going to keep for now. Um, obviously it's a always get my bar now as you can see from the little corner um, on the like bar picture and um, so I feel like for that reason alone as well I kind of want to hang on to it at least one more club um, and then maybe I'll reassess my husband really likes Berry Bright it's similar to the Aladdin Three Wishes which I didn't have a club at the time that that released so I had had some suggest suggestions saying that if I like Aladdin Three Wishes, I would probably like Berry Bright. And yes, they are pretty similar. If you like one, you'll probably like the other. So for now, I'm going to keep that for at least another club and we will reassess later. Currently, I get the Scentsy Whiff Box as my half price, half price item. Oh my gosh, it's kind of late. So I feel like I'm like tripping over my words a little bit but anyway I get the Scentsy whiff box for my half price item I am open to the idea of removing this and possibly adding like a brick as my half price item and the brick I would get would be the blueberry cheesecake brick um but I'd like your guys's opinion should I keep the Scentsy whiff box for a few more times or at least like one more club or should I just go ahead and get a brick this time? I'm starting to get to that point where I have collected quite a bit of like Scentsy products, um, cleaning products, wax, um, what else comes in the whiff box? Oh, I have quite a few scent circles, you know, things like that where I'm kind of to the point um, that I've tried a lot of the Scentsy items and I would be okay with possibly skipping the whiff box and getting a brick but it's such a great value so i don't know i'm kind of torn let me know what you guys think i'm gonna keep dumbo circus parade again it's really hard to want to get rid of bars that are the always get my bar now but we are coming up on our first bar that we're gonna remove i love the Minnie mouse disney scentsy bar it reminds me of my puppy mini but because it's a current, I don't know, a current bar or it's not like a discontinued bar at this point, I'm going to remove it because I can always add it back to my club. So that was our first remove. I'm feeling proud of that. I loved the Scentsy Chase Rainbows collection. It was almost all of them I loved. I have all of them in my club except the blue bar 
and I plan on keeping them. I really love the green. I feel like it's such a good scent and I feel like all the bars in the Chase Rainbow collection performed really, really great. Um, so I'm definitely keeping green. I love red, so I'm definitely keeping this one. Clementine Cupcake, to be completely honest, I was going to choose between Clementine Cupcake and Cutie Pie Cupcake, which both are in my club right now. Honestly, I think I will be fine with cutting both of them out of my club. I liked them, but to be completely honest, they didn't wow me, and it's nothing where I feel like I can't live without it. And this one just makes it easier to cut as well because it is in the current current catalog. It's not an always get my bar at this point. So I'm going to remove this one. Blueberry cheesecake. I really, really love it. I should cut it because it's still in the current catalog, but I really love it. So I'm going to keep it. If you guys tell me that I should cut the whiff box as my half price item and add a brick then i would remove blueberry cheesecake in the bar and just add it in brick form but for now since i have the whiff box i'll keep blueberry cheesecake in my club luna is really really gorgeous it's a really nice beautiful scent um again it's in the current catalog i can always add it back later I love orange and yellow, so again, we're going to keep those two in my club. I really like 100 Acre Wood. I added it back into my club for my July whiff box. Sorry, my July Scentsy Club, not my whiff box. Um, but again, it's in the current catalog. I can always add it back, so that's going to be a remove. NHL Fresh Ice. I added this in my club the first time for July. I I like it on cold. I don't know if it's a favorite, but I know my husband likes it. I have to admit I haven't actually warmed my bar of NHL Fresh Ice yet. So I don't want to remove this at this point. Um, just because we might really like it. And I feel like it's going to be a good wintertime scent. So for now, I'm going to keep it. We'll reassess in the next Sensi Club edit if I do another one. Um, we'll reassess that then once I've actually used the bar and tested performance. So for now, I'll keep it. Again, like I mentioned, to be completely honest, I'm not like I wasn't that wowed with Cutie Pie Cupcake or Clementine Cupcake. If I had to pick a favorite, I actually think I liked Clementine Cupcake a little bit better, but to be honest, performance wasn't that great for me so um yeah and if I don't love it if I don't love cutie pie cupcake I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna remove it so this is that notice it's always get my bar this can't be undone I'm fine with that berry of a paradise is really pretty I'm I don't I'm torn it's one of those that I'm on the fence with um, I would lean towards keeping it one more time just because if I remove it, I can't add it back. But I'm also thinking maybe we'll circle back on this one to see how we've done and how many bars we've cut. Um, it's a really pretty, like to me, girly candied strawberry scent tiny bit kind of body care leaning but like just really sweet like it reminds me of like a fragrance that would be really nice in like a little girl's room like if I had a daughter um I, I like it I don't love it but I'm torn because it's an always get my bar and I can't add it back if I decide like oh my gosh I wish I just kept it so let's circle back on this one because I'm not sure if I'm 100% ready to commit to removing it yet. Um, love and Happiness. I think this is the one that people have said smells a little bit like hairspray, and I totally get that vibe now. Um, I did warm all of my Bring Back My Bars at this point, and to be honest, I just don't think I love it. It's kind of like a warm powdery scent. I like it, but I don't love it enough to keep it 
as a spot in my club so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and remove that one flower child i actually like the best out of all the bring back my bars so that's the hard thing too like i don't necessarily think flower child and berry of a paradise are similar but if i had to choose out of these two scents i definitely would prefer flower child so maybe that's kind of my answer maybe i should cut berry of a paradise but again let's just circle back on that after we've gone through the rest of my club so definitely keeping flower child i really really like it i thought it had a really nice scent throw performance it's kind of like a pretty body care perfumey kind of a scent but slightly more like mature i feel like than the berry of paradise lemon coconut chiffon cake i liked it but again i didn't love it it's kind of on the same line of cutie pie cupcake and clementine cupcake to me it was good but it's not like a standout fragrance to me so i'm totally okay with removing that red white and berry pie i i want to keep it's really really pretty on cold and it's my only like cherry scent from Scentsy. To be honest, it's not the strongest strongest scent throw, but something makes me kind of want to keep it one more time. I know I could remove it because it's not an always get my bar at this point, but I kind of want to keep it for now. Maybe this is another one we'll maybe circle back on. Summer Rain I thought I was going to like a lot more than I did. It was a really great performer, super strong, but actually ended up being a little bit more floral than I wanted. Based off of the name, I thought it would be a little bit more like watery aquatic, but I mean, based off of the scent descriptions, I think it's like botanicals, which I think that's a floral. It just, it was very strong floral scent to me and a little too strong on the floral so i think i'm gonna cut this because there's a scent i ended up adding to my club that i actually like better that i kind of wish the summer rain was more in line with so i'm gonna remove that one forever yours this one's a hard one i really loved this scent there was something so familiar about it to me but it did not perform well. Like I could barely smell it unless my nose was right in the warmer. And because of that, I just don't think it's worth keeping. But I did really love how it smelled on cold. Inner Peace is another one I really liked. It reminded me of like a lush bath bomb. It reminded me of kind of like a lemony. So what would that be? Like avo bath maybe? It just smelled so nice and like relaxing and something you would warm while you're taking a nice bath kind of having a self self care night but again it's not something that like i feel like i love enough to have in my club i enjoyed it but i just don't know how often i would really reach for this scent and because of that, I feel like it's not worth it to actually keep it in my club. So I'm just going to remove it. Um, love you very much. I warmed recently. It had really good performance. I had it in my warmers for a few days. Um, it does kind of remind me of like a fall winter kind of scent or like a summer to fall transition scent. Um, and I liked it. I feel like I liked it enough that I would want to keep it in my club for at least one more time to get another bar for the fall time so we're gonna keep that for now vanilla waves is another one i really want to keep to be honest i have not warmed my one bar that i picked up of vanilla waves from the last club because i've kind of been hoarding it until i get another bar in my stash I love how it smells on cold so much, like so much more than I thought I was going to like it. I thought that like sticky caramel note was going to be off-putting, but I don't know. I love it. Oops. And that was my husband texting me. <laughs> um, I don't know why that just went through because I'm, I have do not disturb on, but oh well. Um, so where was I? 
vanilla waves so this one i'm keeping cotton candy cookie i hated this one to be completely honest which i feel like everyone loves cotton candy cookie so i am gonna remove it um simply irresistible this was really pretty and i thought i would keep it at first but it's kind of another one that i can't imagine reaching for it a ton i really liked it at first i thought it had a nice like coolness to it i almost thought there was like eucalyptus in the blend or like a rosemary because i almost got like this chillness when i smelled it which i don't think it has that it has lavender amber moss and musk um but I don't know it's pretty but it's just it's not something i would reach for over like my bakery sense um baked apple pie is in the current catalog and anyway i didn't like how it smelled on cold that's not necessarily how you should judge scents 100 percent, but it's in the catalog so i can always add it back if i want sparkling magnolia was from the mother's day collection i'm really torn about this one as well because i love how it smells on cold to be honest though even on cold it's light um and on warm it's light you really need to do this in a small room otherwise it's going to get lost so does that mean it's worth keeping in my club i'm not sure about that so this one let's circle back on Amazon Rain I added to my club for July because I loved, loved how it smelled on warm when I warmed my bar of it. But again, I'm not going to keep it in my club because it's a permanent or it's like in the current catalog and I can always add it back. I loved my bar of cucumber and cactus water. And this one is the one that I would much rather keep in my club over summer rain, which is why I ended up cutting out summer rain. And I really want to keep cucumber and cactus water. The funny thing is, though, I don't think it's that like aquatic-y based off of the name. I thought it was going to be a nice, fresh, aquatic-y kind of a scent. But actually, to me, it's a super strong, super long-lasting, perfumey scent. That's what it smells like to me, like a perfumey scent. Like if this was in body care... I feel like it would be really nice but it doesn't give me like cucumber watery vibes or anything like that um but i love it so we're keeping that one angel experiment 624 and stitch experiment 626 i added these in my club when these were available but i haven't gotten my club order since my last july club so i haven't tried these yet i haven't even gotten them this will be my first time getting them in my september club so i'm gonna keep both i'm sure i'm gonna cut one or both in my next club but i just want to give them give them a try first um mahalo coconut i love this because it just reminds me of our, our hawaii trip so because of that reason I added it in my club before the scent went away, but I I don't know if I love it enough to really have it in, in as a spot like in my club. I do have, I think, at least one Mahalo Coconut in my collection, and maybe I'll just hoard that bar because I just don't know if it's worth it to keep it in my club, so I'm just going to remove it magnolia linen is such a pretty laundry scent but it's another one i kind of just added in the spur of the moment before it went away at the end of july but you can get so much good laundry blends from vendor wax i don't know if i love it enough that i need to keep it in my club so i'm gonna get rid of that one sea salt and avocado i've never smelled this one yet again this is one that i ended up adding before it went away at the end of july so i kind of want to keep this in my club to try and if i don't like it i can always remove it next time ruby nectarine is one that i like heard was going away as well i really really liked how it smelled on warm way more than i liked how it smelled on cold and I don't have any more of Ruby Nectarine in my collection, so I kind of want to keep it 
get another one and then reassess if I want to keep it in my club moving forward for the next club. Apple Teeny Splash I added in my collection before I actually had a chance to warm it and I just wanted to add it in case I liked it but I like Chase Rainbows Green much better than this one so I'm going to remove this one. Summer Moonlight is another one where I ended up adding it because I knew it was going away. I do like how it smells on cold. I think I've heard people say that it's a little bit of a light performer on warm. Um, but I ended up adding it just in case I loved the bar. But to be honest, I haven't warmed my bar of Summer Moonlight yet. Um, so let's circle back on it because I don't know if it's worth removing because what if I love the bar on warm? Squeeze the day. Can you guys please let me know? Because I was totally prepared to cut this out of my club. It's another one I ended up adding last minute before it went away at the end of July. I've never smelled this before. So I was thinking to just cut it right away because I can't miss what I never tried. But I've heard such great things about it. So I'm kind of like, do I try it? But I love the Chase Rainbows yellow so much. And do I really need two lemon scents in my collection? Um, let's circle back on it. I'm really close to cutting it out of my club, but I might keep it and see if anyone has any opinions on whether I should cut it or keep it in my club prior to my club processing on the 25th, because I still have a few days where I could still make a few other edits. Glacier water. I loved how my sample smelled on cold and on warm. I thought it was a powerhouse and it lasted for days and was leaking out of my bathroom warmer. The weird thing is I've heard really hit or miss reviews on it. Like people either love it or they don't get good performance. I had such great performance on my sample that I just really want to get the full bar of it. And I guess I'll reassess once I get the full bar. But for now, I really want to get it again. Now, all these bottom ones are new ads that I put into my club when the fall catalog came out. I am totally up to suggestions on if any of you guys have tried any of these fall scents. If you guys are like, this is really gross, it's not even worth trying, can you let me know because I'd love to make a few extra cuts in my club. Um, let's go up and see where we're at. So we're at 43 items. I really want to see that number closer to 35. So that was kind of the first pass through. Let me just go through the fall scents I added so you guys can let me know if there's a scent where like it's totally not worth getting and it's just like not good or if it's not a good performer. Let me know because I really want to cut more bars out of my club. Um, also, I just wanted to point out this is totally not the most cost efficient way to do this. It's much better to just do the bundle and save than just adding all these individual bars into a club. But I try my hardest to not make sensi orders outside of my club order because then it would just be too much of an excuse for me to like add in warmers and add in other things that I don't need. So I'm doing this purely so I don't make an excuse to make like other orders outside of my club but the most cost effective way is probably to do like the bundle and saves so I potentially want to try apple cherry strudel apple and cinnamon sticks autumn hearth autumn road trip autumn sunset berry blessed caramel apple craze bright cider life cider mill cran apple crumble farm stand pumpkin pomegranate prosecco tinsel berry, winterberry apple tea, and cozy cardigan. That's a lot of apple scents. So please let me know like if there's any two apple scents that are really similar, it's really not worth adding both of them. Just let me know because I would, again, I'm repeating myself now, but I would love to cut a few more bars out of my club. Then because I love vanilla waves so much on cold, I really want to give it a try in body care. So I want to get the Vanilla Waves body wash and the Vanilla Waves body cream in this club order because again, 
I'm not making orders outside of my club, so I'm just going to add it into this club. Um, but, you know, these probably won't stay in my my next club process. But for now, I just figure since I'm, you know, my club's set to process soon, I would just add them in. I know Vanilla Waves was in the August whiff box. I didn't get that because I didn't have a club that processed in August, but I just really want to try it because I love how the wax smells so much on cold. So let's just really quick before I end the video, just circle back and see if there's anything I want to cut out. And to be honest, I'm trying to be a little cutthroat here, so I think I'm going to make a few more cuts. Keeping all of these, again, please let me know, should I keep the whiff box? Should I get a brick instead? Honestly, I feel like I should just cut Berry of a Paradise because I like other ones more. And if I'm going to reach for other ones over this one, then why would I keep this in my club? <sighs> Let's just do it. Berry of a Paradise is no longer in my club. Red, white, and berry pie... Do I keep it? Am I realistically going to warm my red, white, and berry pie that I have in my collection between now and my September, October, my November club? Um, I don't know. Am I really going to reach for a cherry scent? Because I feel like cherry is much more a summertime scent over like fall and winter blends. I'm trying to make cuts. You know what? Let's just remove this because I can totally add it back in for my next club. Love you very much. I think I'm going to keep Sparkling Magnolia. I think I have two Sparkling Magnolias in my collection now. I feel like that's enough. Would I really reach for Sparkling Magnolia over other scents? I don't think so. I'm going to cut it. Um, like I said, I loved Cucumber and Cactus. I haven't tried these Lilo and Stitch bars yet, so we're just going to keep them. Sea salt and avocado I'm just super curious about, so I kind of want to keep it. I remember loving Ruby Nectarine. Let's just keep it. Summer Moonlight. I'm torn. What do you guys think about Summer Moonlight and Squeeze the Day? Let me know. Those are kind of the next on the chopping block that I'd probably be willing to cut again please let me know about these fall ones that I added I feel like I added way too much I really don't feel like I need this much autumn and sorry autumn I don't feel like I need this much apple and cider scents so let me know if there's one that you prefer over the other and I would maybe consider cutting some of these so yes that was my Scentsy Club edit for August it's not necessarily finalized because, again, I still have a few more days until my club actually processes, a few more days to think through if I want to cut anything else out. I'd love your guys' opinion. So we're sitting at 40, so we cut out... Did we cut out 20 items? I was at 60 before, right? That is not bad. I, I'm a comfortable at this range, but I, again, would love to cut out a few more if possible. So let me know, did you guys enjoy this Scentsy Club edit? I would totally be up to doing these again in the future because again, I do add a lot of scents into my club and I cut a lot out because I just want to get them to try and then I'm ready to move on and remove from my club um, after I've tried them. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of my club and what I should cut. If you guys are like, oh my gosh, no way you cut that. <laughs> Um, because that was like your favorite let me know too because it's always interesting to hear that but yeah until my next video I will see you guys later thank you so much for watching okay bye